pair of salad jeans. I got another one from Apple. You need it. Yeah, sure. So, uh, welcome everyone. My name is Brian Kelly, and I'm addicted to Sky Miles. Uh, no, so my name is Brian. Hi, Brian. <laughs> uh, so Brian Kelly, I've read the the, the PointSky.com is my blog. Uh, and uh, some readers, I knew this was a friendly audience. I just I feel at ease right now. Everyone's like, you're walking into the lion's den. Everyone hates Delta. You know what, there's actually a, a large portion of people out there, judging by the amount of emails that I get, there are a lot of Delta Flyers and people who get a lot of value out of it. So, I mean, so today's debate, and frankly we called it a debate just to kind of get things excited, but really what we're here today, I'm going to talk about SkyMiles, uh, and I agreed to do this debate because it, it's entitled SkyMiles Offer a Superior Value. And I was like, superior value to what? CVS Club Rewards? <laughs> uh, I don't want to win on a technicality, but uh, I'm not here to debate that Delta's the best frequent flyer program in the world, because it's not. Uh, I don't think there is a single best frequent flyer program. Each of them offer, you know, have, have positives and negatives and work for different people. Um, but I am going to highlight the reasons why I accrue Sky Miles, the reasons why I fly Delta. Because I know there are a lot of people out there that scratch their head, um, who may maybe only have you know limited experience with Delta and, and hate it, and are like, why do people bother with Delta? And I'm going to kind of delve into that. And uh, Gary will take the uh, other position. We'll kind of question each other. And then really, what I'm looking forward to is the audience interaction. We're going to open it up to questions. Both Gary and I have booked millions of miles of awards for people, so you know this is your chance to finally get any of your Delta questions answered. Um, actually, it was a year ago this weekend at the last Frequent Traveler University. I feel like, and it, it, even before we started today, Delta's always the punchline, which is funny. I mean, Gary actually coined the term sky pesos, and, and Delta's always made fun of it. But actually, I remember last year I was frustrated because constantly people were railing against Delta, and no one was really talking about how you can get huge value out of the program. And, from my perspective, the point of these weekends is to learn information and for all of us to walk out smarter and knowing that, uh, you know, how to get the most out of our miles and points. So, I mean, the, I'm going to just structure this into three distinct ways. Why Delta's great for accruing, why Delta's great for redeeming, and then overall, if you fly Delta, Delta's a really good airline and why there are a lot of loyal Delta flyers out there because you know, while it's easy to get credit cards and, and bonuses and SunTrust debit cards, a lot of us do actually earn button seat miles, and there's a reason why a lot of us do that on Delta. So let's get into accruing. I mean, we always make fun of the term best in class, but I truly do feel that Delta is best in class when it comes to accruing Sky Miles um, from means other than just flying. And, and even when it comes to flying, Delta offers 100% earning on all fares. So whereas some, some airline frequent flyer programs will only give us a small amount for, for discounted economy, when you book a Delta fare on delta.com, you know you're gonna get full credit. Delta also gives 50% bonus on YBM, uh, the, the full fare coach, and first, and even the discounted first coach fare. So on other airlines, uh, like American will give you bonus, uh, elite qualifying points, but you won't actually get a, a elite qualifying mile bonus, and Delta does give you that uh, on on the discounted uh, first class fares. And let's talk about. I mean, the credit from the credit card perspective, Delta, it's crazy. You can really just rake in tons and tons of miles. So Delta, the co-branded cards, they've got their gold, platinum, and reserve cards, and then they've got business versions of each as well. And if you spend enough money on the Platinum and Reserve personal business, you can actually achieve Diamond Medallion status without stepping foot on a plane. Now, whether you think that's a good thing or not, a lot of us who um, do spend a lot on credit cards and do like those perks, I mean, those elite miles really make the difference uh, when traveling day to day. And you can get each of those cards. Uh, American Express does not have a limit. So if you have the Gold card, you can also have the Platinum, you can also have the Reserve. You can also get the business cards. At some point, you know, each credit card is where they may make you close out uh, some older cards, but you can get each of those cards. Uh, you know, whether you can churn them or not is a different story, but there have been reports uh, 
you know, if you wait two years or so, you can get the same Amex card again. Um, as far as the MQM bonuses, th that does get a little bit tricky. If you get two cards in the same amount of time, they may only give you the difference in bonus. But regardless, you can absolutely work American Express and Delta since they have such a close relationship. And then as far as the membership rewards cards, uh, you know, if you have a Premier, Premier Rewards Gold, it, tons of Amex points. Historically, Delta and Amex have always run usually between 10 and 30 or 40 percent transfer bonuses. Last year, it was crazy. We saw up to 67 percent bonus. Uh, it was marketed as a rebate, but in reality, it was a 67 percent transfer bonus uh, when you transferred your Amex points to Delta. No other airline credit card relationship offers such a lucrative bonus. You know, British, British Airways Avios are, are trying to give SkyMiles a run for their money. They've been the hot new thing. And I will admit that this year it has been slow for Delta promotions, but uh, looking at historical information, we should hopefully see some big Delta transfer bonuses coming up. So if you are a, uh, an Amex customer, Delta, you can just, the Sky Miles sometimes just fall from the sky. Uh, I also like Delta for approved miles. Their mileage mall is not run by Cartera Commerce, which is the notorious bad uh, mileage mall, so that's just one little bonus. I, whenever I shop through SkyMilesShopping.com, the miles always post on time. They run, it's a pretty legitimately run website from my experience. Um, and I think, you know, the key thing with SkyMiles is they don't expire. Uh, they're the only major U.S. program that they don't expire. And yes, I agree, it's super easy for us people to keep them active, but, you know, I'm not an advocate just for the hardcore frequent flyer. I do give Delta credit that Across the board, they don't allow sky miles to expire. So that's definitely another plus on that front. So overall, you know, if you if you've got a strategy, you can you can make sky miles rain from the sky. So let's let's now transition into redeeming. This is when most people grumble, and this is this is where most of the issues come from. I guess the first thing that I really like about sky miles is that there are no last minute fees. So. Uh, on American and other airlines, you're, you, you look at paying an extra $75 just to have the joy of using your miles last minute, which I think is totally bogus. Um, I will just give a personal example. So we unfortunately had a, a death in my family this weekend and my sister who lives in Jacksonville uh, wanted to come up and as we all know, last minute airfares are seven, $800. And uh, you know, so I pulled up Delta.com, flying into LaGuardia was the most convenient. There was a nonstop flight. And it was either 40,000 sky miles for coach, which is their mid-tier, which you know isn't great, but I, it's still a pretty decent cent per mile value. But one of the one of the tri tricks that I always tell people always look for first class as well. So I pull up first, and it was 45,000 and five dollars. So my sister actually is in the air right now, flying first class, um, you know, for five dollars out of pocket, so she can. You know, be here for this family event. So for me, I mean, this debate is already won because that's superior value to me. I know I always blog about using miles for what makes the most sense. Yes, I, I will kind of go into, uh, you can use sky miles for Hawaii internationally, but the fact that uh, they do have really good middle award availability for coach and, and last minute availability and low fees is, is a reason why I really like sky miles. Um, so so let's just get into the three-tier thing. This is where a lot of people hate Sky Miles because they did come out with this three-tier model. And I'll be honest, with that three-tier model, there, in my experience, there is less saver level awards on Delta, which, and to compound this problem is when you're booking an award, you know, so if you settle on a medium tier leg, instead of just the whole award pricing at medium, a lot of times it prices a la carte especially if you're going international. So if you're, if you, if you're gonna bite the bullet and spend 200,000 Delta miles to fly to Paris, and then you get a low-level Air France business class award within Paris, it'll be 200,000 plus the low-level Air France. Like you would think that it would just all be included for the medium level price, but Delta will, will kind of add on each leg and it prices kind of crazily. So that's, I, I will fully admit that that it does get very frustrating when you're mixing award uh, the levels on Delta awards. But the great thing is if you can cobble together an award that's on all partners, so if you live in a Delta, if, if you live in a city, a Sky Team city like New York, where you've got Air France, KLM, Alitalia, used to be Air Europa, and you just fly on partner airlines, it will always be at the low level. 
So, you know, I think the biggest trick for a lot of us that use our SkyMiles, we use them internationally and on partners uh, for business or coach. Uh, so, but, but the bottom line is if you have SkyMiles, as long as there's a seat being sold on that plane, you can get a ticket with miles. And, um, you know, while we always try to get the highest cent per mile, it's, it's a nice insurance policy to have, especially if Delta flies the routes that you fly and they fly nonstop. Uh, you know that you can always book an award with Sky Miles. Um, and you know, you have to do the math. Delta offers a lot more seats at 40,000, whereas most airlines that offer those peak nonstop awards will be at the peak 50,000 mile level. So while there's definitely downsides to having this three tier system, would you rather, if you do book, if you do like to book those nonstop, you know, awards that are usually at the peak level, would you rather pay 40,000 versus paying 50,000? Now I know we're in a room of, of very savvy frequent flyers. We always try to get the low saver level. But, but the real, reality of life is Sabre rewards don't always work for us. Uh, so it's always good to have the option of, of not spending as much as 50,000 points. Um, yeah, as far as fees go across the board, Delta, I think, is, uh, is reasonable. Now, raise your hand if you live in Europe or outside the US. The, there are foreign origination surcharges, which are really annoying. Uh, so if you're in, I was in Dublin recently, 